Hello and welcome to Teldo Daily number 4 and today I'm going to be talking about the blast combos. And Engineer in my opinion is the master of blast combos. You might say elementalists have more blast finishers and that's true, but engineers also have a lot of important fields to combine them and they can just get some really neat little effects out of it. And before I go more into detail, I'm just going to explain real quick what combos actually are in this game. So we have different fields that we can lay down on the ground and finishers and combined they do certain effects. So we have for example the fire field, water field, dark field, light field, etc. We have blast finishers, projectile finishers, wall finishers and leap finishers. I'm going to give you a list of the different combinations and you can find this on a Wars 2 wiki site. I'm going to put it into the description below. So today I'm going to be talking about three different fields and you can get them with bomb kit and healing turret and you will also get a good amount of blast finishers with it. You also need a shield on your, your off hand though. So the bomb kit already offers two different fields, fire field and smoke field. Those are really important ones and the healing turret gives you the water field which is also very powerful. And we have different blast finishers. The big bomb from your, the bomb kit, the shield 4 from well, the shield 4 gives a blast finisher as well, and the healing turret um, blow up here. It's also a blast finisher. I also have rocket boots and supply crate in this build. That's five blast finishers for me, but with just bomb kit, um, shield, and healing turret, you get three already, and a lot of um, really nice fields for it. So let's start with the fire field. It gives you three stacks of might for 25 seconds when you blast into it. And I'm going to show you the normal combo that I usually use. You lay down the big bomb first because it needs three seconds until it actually blows up, and then you lay down a field. So let's do this. And then you use the healing turret, blow that up, and your shield four. That's three blast finishes, very easy to do, very quick to do. 25 stacks of might for, um, uh, nine stacks of might for 25 seconds, I'm sorry. And it's AOE as well. So you can use that to prepare yourself for a big fight and PvE as well, but also in PvP. And um, yeah, it's especially useful just for preparation. You can also use it in the middle of a fight. In PvP I only use it if I need to unbunker someone really badly and I need a lot of might stacks to just deal extra damage. But in general that's the weakest of those fields that I'm going to be talking about, but still pretty useful sometimes. But before I continue talking about other fields, I'm just going to explain real quick how the priority system works. <clears throat> so, um, if you lay down, if you have two different fields on top of each other, the first one will always be the one that you can blast into. So I laid down two different fields there, laid down the fire field first, and I got the three might stacks. <clears throat> That's important to know. Um, but the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the smoke field. It gives you three seconds, or two, uh, two to three seconds, I'm not exactly sure um, what number it is, but two to three seconds stealth AOE, and it's very, very powerful because stealth is very strong in this game. You can't get hit out of stealth, and you can use it to reposition yourself, you can use it to sneak by enemies, to just backcap them or something, you can use it to retreat, you can use it to stealth allies if they're getting stormed, because stealthed and allies can't be stormed. It's very, very powerful. So you can lay down a big bomb here, it's the same combo again, and bam, this combo again, and we have like 6 to 8 seconds um, stealth. And that allows us to move around a little bit, it also helps our allies, it's very useful. Um, most of the time, <clears throat> for the middle of the fight, I just use my smoke finisher and my shield 4. That's super quick to do. Also the healing turret works pretty well for that, it's also super quick to do. And just as I said, um, it, the, the healing turret gives a water field, but since the smoke field will be there first, you can use that as well Getting to get um, a stealth out of it. Here you go. Very useful, it helps you to reposition yourself. Just try to use it a little bit more in PvP, it's very, very strong and it makes a difference between a good engineer and a great engineer. So, and let's talk about the water combo real quick. The water combo gives you 1.3k healing around yourself for each finisher that you do. Most people just use your, their healing turret and blow it up like that. Bam. You get 1.3k extra healing, but it also has 20 seconds cooldown. Most of the time you should pick it up, and I'm going to do another daily on that as well, just explaining <clears throat> how to use healing turret properly. But um, 
You can also just lay down your big bomb and just do the normal combo that I showed a few times earlier. But there's also another quick trick that you can do. So the big bomb has a very tricky use. It needs three seconds until it actually blows up. And your F1 gives a water field for one second. So if you don't have a heal up anymore, you can use that combo to heal yourself a little bit, but you need the right timing for it. So I'm going to give you a trick how to time it properly. Lay down the big bomb, attack twice with your pistol, and then use your F1, and you can also combo your shield 4 right into it, and the rocket boots as well. That would be three finishers, and all of that into an F1 ability, and that go would give you 3.9k healing. That's a lot of healing, that's nearly an extra full heal. And it's AoE, you can use it on your allies as well. It's so powerful, and you should definitely make use of it. And, well, yeah, that's that's pretty much it about the combos. I will also make a projectile finisher video soon, um, because I found out a really nice trick today, and um, I have a few other things that I want to show you about that. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to give me some feedback again. I'm very happy about the feedback that I got so far, and see you guys on Monday, because I will release those videos on weekdays. Saturday on Sunday there will be no video. So see you guys then, thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.